Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We'll be looking at the CSEC Geography, May June 2016, Paper 1. But if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos are being uploaded. So please also remember to watch the ads or just take a little break, grab a snack, but it's your way of, you know, showing appreciation for the videos. So let's get into this paper and also give this video a thumbs up by liking it. So let's get into this paper. The answers will be provided. You can take a look at the questions. So item one to five, refer to the following map of the Caribbean region. So there you have your map. There you have it. So let's go on to the question. So item one, question one says, which island is located at 14 degrees north, 61 degrees west? The answer is C, St. Lucia. And you can always go back on the video and go back to the map, 42. Havana is located at, the answer is D, 23 degrees north, 82 degrees west. Number three, which city is located 1,000 kilometers from Santo Domingo? The answer is C, Montego Bay. Four, an airplane leaves Port of Spain, Trinidad for Kingston, Jamaica, in which general direction should it fly? According to the map, B, northwest. Five says, if the time in Santo Domingo is 3 p.m., what is the time in Belmopan? The answer is B, 2 p.m. So it says, item 6 refers to the following statement. The horizontal distance between two points on a slope is 400 meters. And the difference in height is 80 meters. What is the gradient of the slope? The answer is A, 1 in 5. 7. Which of the following statements about lines of latitude is true? D, they represent angular distance north and south of the equator. So there you have item A to 10 for the following sketch map. And take a look on the sketch map. So there you have your sketch map. Go to the question now. It says the feature labeled S is situated in grid square. So you can always go and look, pause it, go back and look on it. C, 9327. 9 says, what is the form of the settlement in which the church is located? The answer is A, linear. 10 says, the feature passing through Q is a, the answer is D, railway. So items 11 to 12 of the following sketch map. So you can take a look again at your sketch map. And it tells you what each represents there. Your key. So 11 says, which of the following types of settlement will most likely develop between Y and Z? And you can always go back and look on your diagram. So Y and Z. So the answer is A, linear. 12 says, the type of farming system which is most likely to exist at A is D, large-scale commercial. So items 13 to 16 refer to the following contour sketching map. Contours in meters, showing points X and Y, and area Y shaded. So there you have it. It says the grid reference of point X is, the answer is A, 345410. Let's go on to 40. The bearing of X from W is approximately, the answer is D, 315 degrees. 15 says the vertical interval is A, 20 meters. 16, the shaded landform shown at Y is a, 
Let's be rich. 17 to 19 are based on the following table showing average rainfall and temperature figures for a certain location. So you can take a look at your table. 17 says the annual temperature range is, the answer is B, 3 degrees Celsius. 18, the rainfall pattern indicates, the answer is A, rain throughout the year. 19, the clim climatic type indicated is described as, the answer is B, equatorial. Items 20 to 21 refers to the following table which provides data for four Caribbean countries for the year 2000. So you can take a look at your table. 20 says, based on the data in the table, how many persons per square kilometer did Barbados have? This was a question that we could not find any answer for. There was an error in this question. There's no correct answer there. 21 says, based on the data in the table, which of the following statements about the country with the lowest population density is true? The answer is A, it has the largest area. Items 22 to 23 refers to the following map of an island showing the number of persons per square kilometers. So you can take a look at your map there. It says, which part of the island, one, two, three, or four, has the smallest population? The answer is D, 4. 23 says, the map shows population B, density. Items 24 to 25 refer to the data in the following table regarding world production of aluminum, million tons in selected countries for 2003. So you can take a look at your table there. So it says, which country produced just over one-tenth of the aluminum in the world in 2003? The answer is C, Canada. 25. The number of tons of aluminum produced by Norway was? The answer is D, 1.2 million. Let's go on to 26. Items 26 to 27 is refer to the following block diagram showing the movement at a plate margin. Which of the following plate margins is shown? The answer is C, convergent. 27 says the features shown at R are, the answer is A, volcanoes. And you can always scroll back right there at R. So it's volcanoes. 28 says, a volcanic spine can develop when? The answer is A, the lava is vicious. Let's go on to 29. It says, potholes will tend to form on the head, sorry, on the bed of a river if the river has a the most suitable answer is C, high volume and flows over a steep gradient. 30 says, which of the following statements explains how vegetation contributes to the development of soils? The answer is B, vegetation decomposes to produce the organic matter in the soil. 31, which of the following statements may explain why some areas in Caribbean territories are sparsely settled. One, they are hilly and forested. Two, they have no mineral resources. Three, transport links are generally poor. The answer is B, one and three only. 32 says, which of the following factors is the most important contributor to the growth of cities in the Caribbean? The answer is A, rural to urban migration. 33. Which of the following conditions is a problem in urban areas of the Caribbean? The answer is B, inadequate housing. 34. Which of the following conditions is not a problem affecting industrial development in the Caribbean? The answer is A, size of the market. 35. Which of the following factors may increase the rate of soil erosion? One, afforestation. Two, very intense rainfall. Three, 
poor cultivation techniques? So is it, what's our answer option? C, two and three only. 36 cells. Which of the following features is most typical of wheat farming as practiced in the prairies of Canada? The answer is C, large labor force. Let's move on to items 37 to 38 are based on the following graph, which shows the relative value for exports of primary and manufactured products from four Caribbean territories in one year. So you can take a look. So question 37 says, for which of the following territories was the value of manufactured produ products exported greater than 75% of the total exports? The answer is A, Barbados. 38 says, in which of the following territories was there the greatest difference in value between primary products and manufactured products? The answer is B, Guyana. So item 39 refers to the following diagram of a coastal area. The feature X is most likely the, the result of one longshore drift, two wave deposition, three wave erosion. The answer is A, one and two only. 40 says, which of the following factors causes temperatures to, to be high in the Caribbean sea latitude? 41, which of the following industries is classified as tertiary? The answer is B, tourism. 42 says, which of the following situations have resulted from the setting up of secondary industries in the Caribbean? One, increased external markets. Two, reduction in the cost of living. Three, increased employment opportunities. The answer is D, one, two, and three. 43 says, which of the following measures do governments use to influence the location of industries? The answer is C, establishing green zones for industrial development. 44. A coral reef which is separated from the mainland by a wide lagoon is known as? The answer is C, a barrier reef. 45 says, which of the following conditions are needed for the growth of coral? The answer is B, warm water temperatures. 46 says, which of the following plates is or are being pushed under the margin of the Caribbean plate? One, Cocos. Two, Nazca. Three, South American. The answer is B, one and three only. 47. At a transformed plate margin, crystal plates are? The answer is B, sliding past each other. 48. With what type of plate margin are the volcanoes of the Caribbean associated? The answer is A, convergent. 49. Which of the following features is characteristic of volcanoes in the Eastern Caribbean? The answer is B, explosive eruption. 50. The cultivation of crops that uses extensive, extensive practices and has high yields per worker is called D, commercial arable farming. 51. The type of soil related to the equatorial climate is called, the answer is B, latter soil. 52 says, which of the following resources is most important when considering the location of primary industries? The answer is D, raw materials. Item 53 refers to the following diagram, which shows various items that Mr. Jack uses. There they are. 53. What type of pollution is common to activities involving the items illustrated in the diagram? We know that it's B, noise pollution. 54. Says, which of the following practices may help to reduce problems of pollution created by household waste? The answer is D, burying and covering with soil. 55. Which of the following situations contributes most to pollution of the environment of capital cities in Caracom? The answer is C, 
exhaust fumes from motor vehicles. 56. Which of the following events poses the most serious threat to the rivers of the Caribbean? The answer is C, deforestation and erosion. Let's go to 57. Which of the following substances is not expected to pollute the underground water supply? The answer is A, mulch. 58. Which of the following sources of energy is least likely to harm the environment? The answer is C, solar. 59. Which of the following sequences usually occurs where soil erosion is a problem? The answer is B, deforestation, then decreased infiltration, next increased runoff, and then soil erosion. 60 says, which combination of factors would most likely result in flooding? One, soil conservation methods in use. Two, deforestation. Three, dumping of garbage in rivers. The answer is C, two and three only. So that is it. We have come to the end of the CSEC geography, May, June 2016, paper one. Thank you so much for watching.